Pulling up to the gym now. Finna head inside the Coliseum, you know, see what it's talking about, man. Feels good to be back. Except I don't know what I'm walking into. What's good? Hey! I miss you, my boy! It's been like two long months. Finally. This is used to play, huh? Yeah, back until uh, 1992. Veterans Memorial Coliseum, the original home of the Suns, and eventually known as the Madhouse on McDowell. That place was special, man. It wasn't like a pristine place to play. Uh, it wasn't, it was like our Boston Garden. You know, obviously this isn't an old building, but it's got like a historic feel to it. It's definitely different than any NBA arena I've been in. I'm kind of fascinated with the engineering of this building. Kind of reminds me of like a college arena, you know? I just picture like how small it is and everybody's here is probably like crazy. Like. Here comes Marley. He jams it at the buzzer and the Suns win. It wasn't glamorous or anything, but it was it was blue collar, go to work, loud, and just, just awesome. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. It was like a lot of the older arenas where you were closer to the court, closer to the action, closer to the players. And uh, I think that's what really gave it that gold star as the Madhouse on McDowell. Listen to the Madhouse on McDowell. Oh, brother! When I started here in 87, 88 with the Suns, and I was a ball boy, worked in the Suns locker room. Just walking into this place for the first time, seeing the Suns court down here, it's just, it brings back so many memories. It's so good to see the old purple and orange. As you know, this building is pretty old it's, uh, since the sun started in 1968, and it's taken a lot of hard work from a lot of people around our, our arena that have come over here to work around the clock to keep it up to par. You guys are in a new building because Talking Stick Resort Arena is being renovated and the practice facility is not yet complete. So how much of a challenge does that add on top of an already challenging situation? Uh, yeah. Well, fortunately for us, we knew that this transition was gonna happen going into the arena renovation and the practice facility isn't quite ready. So we knew we were coming here to McDowell. It just got bumped up a month early. It's been nonstop for some of the staff of putting this together. The talking stick resort, like the engineers, the basketball ops staff, everybody has worked overtime to just get this facility up and ready, but everything's been redone from carpets, paint, you name it. We had staff from the arena come over and build the Mercury locker room out of the old Suns locker room, putting our court down, making it feel like the madhouse on the back. So what we did is we converted this storage unit to give us a room that is actually better than most that you would consider weight rooms in the NBA. So we have things that we didn't have in our old facility that are now allowing us to train even better than we were. Now we have a square space which allows us to put in turf, which is a nice addition for us to do our low level plyometrics, sprinting, and just general cool down and warm ups. Also we have a med ball wall that's the size of the room if you will, so now we have a lot of ways that we can throw med balls into the wall, which makes it very exciting for our explosive training. Most teams are just sitting back and they're thinking, okay, we can go into our facilities now, but we don't have one. So we had to build one and not just that, we had to make it the best setup we can because it's so new to all of us. I was kind of nervous if we even had a gym or anything, but um, I'm happy we have somewhere to be. You can come in, lift, and do everything on the court and, you know, have us home to be at, so um, what they did here is unbelievable. Just walking into this place for the first time, it brought back all the memories. Jay tells me a lot just about how it used to be really packed in here. I mean, I'm just happy we got our court. I don't care, we could be in a garage or I care for it. As long as we have like our court and stuff, I'm fine with it. You know, obviously none of us have played competitive basketball now for a couple months. That's the longest any of us have been away from playing the game probably maybe ever. I'll go to Saturn to play basketball at this point. I'll go pretty much anywhere. Yeah.